I've got a little project going. Um, my mom and my grandma have been asking for one of those tire stove burner things that are going around on Facebook. So I have three rims from my old 67. I'm not going to be using more. They were pretty destroyed, old, and sitting flat and full of water for a long time. Could get them busted loose, so I took saws off. First thing, and just cut the cut them off with the rims. It was a lot easier. And took cut off wheel and cut the rest of it off. Now I'm going through and with the wire wheel, getting all the heavier rust off and I'll make them perfect but that's where I can let me chunking off this is one of the better ones should have taken some video sooner but they were all like this or worse or even like this you can see you got some heavy mill scale on it not mill scale so heavy rust on it just getting all all the stuff I can bust loose with the wire wheel and We'll go on from there, maybe clean up a little bit more. Alright, now that I got most of the heavy stuff taken off, I'm going to try and get these rivets punched out so I can take the centers out. I'm going to try it first by just, so we can't drill that out on all, there's 12 of them all together around the rim. Oops, sorry. Drill those out. We can't punch the rivets out. Hopefully it works. No, I'll just grind the heads off and punch them out and see what happens. So, what I've been doing is going through and center punching. I'm going to turn this light on. Let's get a little better. Where all the rivets are at, drive a center punch, and then go through with just my was it, seven, seven sixteenths or half inch. Drill bit, drill the top of it out. Done yet. I'll just take a punch and hammer, pop it through. It's been working pretty good, pretty quick. Got two done. The center's out. We've got two more to do. So I'm gonna leave the the worst ones I have this one, this one doesn't have it's welded in, it's not riveted. So this is gonna be my base for the stoves. But I'll finish these ones up. Okay, so now I'm trying to set up the grill for the top of the the stove. I got some horseshoes. So so I got some I just took it and just turned the one of the one of them upside down. This is gonna be the top side here. It's gonna be very top. So I just kind of shoved them as tight as I could. Had to, it wasn't quite a perfect fit, but luckily horseshoes bend pretty easy. So I just um, used a makeshift anvil and spread them out a little bit till they fit. Ordered some of these smaller shoes earlier and just kind of to fill in the center, I think it should look pretty good. Now let's see what it'll look like once it's free. Okay, and that's gonna be what it looks like. It's pretty good. Trace a circle around that, so I just make sure everything was evened up. It looks like it's pretty good. I think I could be happy with that. And I'll put the rim back on, just keep everything squared up, and I'll start tacking it together. Go ahead and myself forgot to document this step. So I just took, tacked two spots in all of them. Almost got it finished both, but I figured I'd show what I've got left. Put it to down. Pretty easy. This is metal, seems that well pretty easy. Not a great welder, but it's laying down flat. It's pretty good. Just using a Hobart handler. The horseshoes got it set about 55 and 3. Working really good. They said it's not fantastic, but it's decent for an amateur. So I guess I'll finish welding these up and show the finished product. So it took the wire wheel to it, got a lot of the, the process of getting all the little weld berries or splatter or spatter cleaned up off it. It's pretty good. Top side. 
It's got a pretty cool look to it. My family's Dodge too, so it's kind of got an interesting little ram horns to it. It wasn't expecting that. I just noticed a little bit, little bit to go. So it's in a cool book. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do much grinding tonight. My freaking grinder just shot, broke while I was in the middle of it, and I thought I was gonna die. I spent that freaking four inch knotted rope or knotted uh, wire just spinning like a top all over my workbench. It came at me, batted away with the grinder, and it went back the other direction. Man, that was that was scary as hell. Never had one break like that before. So, good thing I was wearing all my protective clothing. So, be careful, guys. Once again, I got ahead of myself. Um, so I went and squared off this uh, little jig kind of thing. This helps you get everything a little more square. Then, um, to that, I went through, clamped, and then tacked, clamped and tacked, clamped and tacked all the way through. And then now I'm going through. Some of the spots are rendered dented and everything, so it's had to bridge some gaps. Now I'm going through and squaring piece section to section at a time. The trim was a little bit different size, and I can actually fit it inside the lower rim. It's got a nice little tight fit. So I'm going to try and just weld it along the lip there, see how I can do that. Okay, so got the final weld done on this. For the main seams, I'll go through and fill all these holes in. I might leave them for vents. I don't know. I'll figure that out, but probably will fill them in. And same thing with all the, the foul stem holes. But man, this... Really miss not having a grinder so I can go through and do good metal prep. Got inclusions and just crappy looking welds, but it'll work for what it's doing. I'm on, kind of on a time crunch to get this done. Can't wait to go find a new grinder to get all of it done. And that's what it's going to look like. Once I get a new grinder, I'll go through, clean everything up really good. Might go through and clean my welds up and fit the, fix those inclusions. Might just spray paint over it. But once everything's cleaned up, I'll just paint over it. It'll be good to go. Awesome. Cool. I wanted to look inside. Okay, the bottom half is solid, but you got to so all we have to do is tip it over to get the ashes out. No, it should actually, yeah, it should actually um, filter, filter most of it through. Oh, it, I yeah. see. I see it's got slots in the bottom. Yeah. Those are awesome. Where did you find your little horseshoes? Ordered them.